It looks like a gun. It operates like a gun. It feels like a gun. It simply doesn't kill people like a gun. For Brian Gantz, an entrepreneur and businessman from Boston, self-defense doesn't have to mean lethal force. <laughs> oh, yeah. That would stop me in a heartbeat. Oh my God, yeah. That was the idea behind the Berna Launcher. The company's manufacturing plant sits in America's heartland, made every day by hand in Fort Wayne, Indiana. So this was designed from scratch for our operations. We visited the Berna facility for an exclusive look at how they're made. One thing I noticed immediately is, I mean, it's people. It's people making this. Was that important to you? It, it, it was important to me. And remains? And we're committed to it. We're proud to be an American company. They were building both pistols as well as our long guns. This is the Berna pistol, designed after Gantz's Glock and starting at 379. For a few hundred dollars more, the less lethal rifles offer higher power and longer range. So I don't know if you've ever used a paintball gun or any other CO2 device. We often refer to this as sort of a, a paintball gun on steroids. Instead of paintballs, projectiles replace real bullets. Some are hard and they hurt. It did in fact feel exactly like I was getting hit by a brick. Others are designed to incapacitate in a single shot with pepper spray and tear gas, burning your throat and making it hard to breathe for up to 40 minutes, giving you time to get away. Here it is in action. Inside, now. <laughs> Take a look at the moment two pit bulls come towards a father and his young daughter. He pulls out his Berna launcher and scares the dogs away. And we're seeing people become more creative in self-defense, right? It sounds like that's an opportunity for something like this. There's been a fraying of the social fabric in America. Uh, there's been a rise in crime. People want some way to protect themselves. So you're leaning into the fear a little bit. I think that's fair to say. And it's resonating. The company started in 2019. Year-over-year -year sales are up 100%. Right now, the Mission 4 rifle is sold out online. Other launchers are a two-week wait. There's a gentleman that you'll be working with today that will help you uh, learn how to use the Berna. Uh, we'll insert the magazine, okay. two thumbs, and I'm pointing it at the target. That's a long shot, but at least you can kind of see that it still has a lot of energy behind it. Perfect. I wish I could get our cadets to shoot like that. <laughs> I mean, it's easy to shoot. Critics of Berna's less lethal launchers are quick to point out one potential flaw. The risk is you pull out one of these and someone else pulls out a real gun, you're in trouble. Well, I, you know what? I'm going to disagree with you on that. The interesting thing is, in most cases, people will pull out the Berna and they won't need to fire it. Just pulling it out and pointing it at somebody is enough to make the assailant back off. Most deadly force encounters, encounters by law enforcement, are within inside seven yards, which is 21 feet. Right here where we're standing is definitely a long shot for a taser. The law enforcement feedback has been terrific. Berna wasn't created for police, but they now partner with law enforcement across the globe. Less lethal, less lethal. In the U.S., the company has deals with more than 300 agencies, from police departments to security companies, even the Army and Navy. What's the pitch, though, to law enforcement who are hesitant to use it? We're certainly never recommending to replace a lethal firearm with a Berna. This is another point on the continuum of force. This operates just like a normal AR-15. This one's a little more intimidating. This is mostly law enforcement, though. Are you, or do no, people you can sell using it to, this? They sell it to anybody. Okay. Yeah. Same way, we hold it the same way. Okay. The only difference is now is the safety. For Gantz, it's always been about offering another option, but it's also personal. My wife uh, died many years ago. I was a single dad of three daughters. Nothing focuses your attention on safety, like being a single dad of three daughters. We're resonating with gun owners like myself who want a non-lethal alternative. But it also resonates with uh, people that are not gun owners, but want some way to protect themselves in this crazy world that we live in. 
And it is a crazy world. Couple things, Elizabeth, to note about this. It is not a toy. It is a weapon. It should be treated like a weapon. It is legal in all 50 states. You do not have to have a background check to get one. And it's the honor system. Only those 18 or older should get it. But you can buy it online, so there is the risk. And my obvious question, I think it's one that people at home have, is if you pull this out in the wrong situation, it could backfire. If you pull it out on police, we know what happens. If yeah. a child gets a hold of it. So again, taking the same safety precautions you would with a gun are required here. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.